Hello and a very good evening from Look North. A distribution centre in Bradford is leading the way in providing jobs for people who are often excluded from paid work. GXO uses its own employees to support people with disabilities or mental health problems. It works with Bradford Council and the Department for Work and Pensions to provide the jobs, as Cathy Killick reports. With a workforce of 2,000 on site in Bradford, this huge distribution centre run by logistics firm GXO is hoping to provide much needed work for people who are often excluded from paid jobs. They handle online orders for Marks and & Spencer and working together is providing various schemes to employ people with disabilities or mental health problems, recovering addicts and prison leavers too. Simon Hayes works for the NHS but is here to support patients with mental health problems settle into jobs. When it works well, it can be absolutely central to the continued recovery of somebody who's been struggling with their mental health. It is about self-worth. It is about being afforded the same opportunities that perhaps they'd long since forgotten that they deserved. And I think being a part of helping them into employment and seeing the difference it makes in them has been an absolute privilege. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to print off some pictures to put on our Employee of the Month board. Glenn is helping out in the HR department as part of his probationary training. As someone with Down syndrome, he's found it very difficult to find work. But with the help of his assigned buddy, Jazz, who's showing him the ropes, he's settling in well. I like uh, working in the warehouse and also I like working in HR. I like um, working with other people and a bit more social. It's rewarding for everybody, not just for the individual, that it, it can be really life-changing for, but for those people that work with people who may be struggling in some form, that it's, it's just one of the remote, most rewarding things that they can give back to. The company wants inclusion to be part of its DNA and says it's worth the extra effort involved because employees feel welcomed and are loyal as a result. Against a background of labour shortages, that makes business sense too. Cathy Killick, BBC Look North, Bradford.